but I know right now there's a mountain that both of us are climbing. It's a decision that we've both made. Oh, yeah. This was a hard one. And yeah, um, I mean, for me, it was December. And, and that's the thing. I, re I remember dates very, very vividly. Oh, yeah. December 13th, yeah. 2023. Went out with some friends. Um, went to dinner. Had a couple of old fashions. Love a good old fashioned. Love scotch. Love whiskey. And then after that, we met up with some other friends at a local bar in, in the neighborhood. Had three more old fashions. That was on a Saturday night. Woke up the next day, Sunday, oof, man. I felt, I felt horrible. Woke up the next day, Monday, oof. I'm still feeling bad. Woke up on Tuesday. I'm still, like, I can't. And the question that I vividly remember asking myself, laying in bed, waking up, feeling that way, is your future self, is my future self going to thank me for doing what I'm doing? Or would my future self thank me for saying, you know what? I need to re-examine my relationship with alcohol. And yeah. I did not realize how long I had not gone with not having a drink. Like it had become part of who I was. Probably all the way back to when I was like 17 years old. So 17 to 42, what is that, 25 years? Yep. So I made a conscious choice and decision to say, I'm not going to drink for a week. And then a week became a month. A month became 90 days. 90 days became half a year. Then I had like a glass of wine, a little bit of whiskey. And I was like, you know what? I was feeling far better without. And you and I yeah. had the, con we were, you and I were in constant dialogue about this. Oh yeah. <laughs> and I know you had dabbled with it yourself. Yeah. Sobriety. Um, yeah. And then you went out one night yourself and you had a interesting evening. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, this was, this was something that I, it's interesting the way this happened and, and the way this lined up for both of us, because I think for like the better part of last year, we were both dancing around this idea, yeah. but like yeah. internally, and I don't think we ever really talked about it, it out loud. Until one day, like, oh, I think it was right after, like, the first time I did. So last year, I did, like, two weeks off. And then I did 30 days. Mm -hmm. And then I did, like, 45 days. And, but after each one of those, you know, periods off, I would find myself eventually facing the same issue. Like, overdoing it. Feeling like crap. And then everything around me suffered. Yes. Um, and so I probably brought it up to you one day because I just was like, had enough. And we just both kind of connected that that was something that we both kind of silently been thinking about. And so, yeah, I, after you did, so you did your hundred days. So I did my little short little sprints. And then back in April, April 8th, I was like, you know what, James Robert? I'm going to see you at a hundred days. I'm going to meet your hundred days that you're doing. I remember. Um, and go from there. Yeah. I was like challenge accepted. Yeah. So yeah, I mean, I'm past, I'm probably at 110 days, 108 days now. And I realized that when I looked around at like all of my goals that I had um, and what was a common denominator kind of standing in my way mm. and I realized it was alcohol, like yeah. what's preventing you, you would have this, 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 and this you could achieve if you just cut that out. And like, is that so hard? You know what? And, and I just would, I just told myself like, all right, you want to be a badass? You want to accomplish all these goals? You want to do all this shit? Work hard, sacrifice, be disciplined. And so I just tell myself like, I'm not in the time of my life where I'm going to go out and party. That's not where I'm at. I haven't, I haven't earned that yet. I'm trying to work now. And so that was a tough that was a tough thing to cut because I'm a very social person. So I have more opportunities to go to dinner or to go hang out with friends. And it was like more often than not, there was alcohol involved. Um, yeah. And so I was like, you know what? You're just going to have to get real. This is a challenge. And I think, uh, that was tough. And I think though, it, it'll be interesting how that 
continues to unfold because from my experience now pushing almost seven, eight months, A, I don't miss it. B, it's people ask me all the time, is it hard? Is it difficult? No, it's actually not. it's not. And I have my mental clarity is at the highest it's ever been. Um, there's a spiritual component to this as well, I believe. I'm more connected with myself than ever before. Um, I mean, even the other day I was speaking at a conference and someone we both know, the very first thing that she said to me, because I've been public about this and speaking more about yeah. this and probably will continue to the more that I learn this and we'll just call it digital addiction. Um, yeah, are, I think are two. That's a coping mechanism. This oh. is the self sabotage we're talking about. It, it, it really is, and I think yeah. like how. So why is it that we're doing this? What's well, the issue? Well, and 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 I, the the phones, the cell phones. It's the it's the Armin Van Buren song. Maybe we should do a whole episode on this. The, you know, everyone's connected, but no one's connected. The human element yeah. has long been missing. I'm, I'm quoting Armin Van Buren on this one, and. I know for me, it's like, I would go to my phone because I was lonely. Yep. Didn't want to, you know, didn't want to be by myself. Be with yourself. Be with myself. Exactly. Yeah. That was alcohol for me. And what are we, and what are we afraid of? Be more comfortable in my skin. Yeah. Yeah. What are we afraid of? And when we start to do some of this I'm not going to say hard work, this deeper work. We really, I think, unlock new levels of growth that will bear fruit both personally and professionally. 